nanomaterials and nanotechnologies are ushering in a new era of technological and scientific breakthroughs. Many consumer products containing nanomaterials have improved our standard of living in ways that would have been unimaginable just a few years ago. Nanomaterials have captured our imagination with the potential to show properties and activity that we've never seen before, but equally have captured our concerns because they may also behave unexpectedly in terms of um, showing toxicity that we haven't yet uh, well defined and understood. There is still limited knowledge on the health risks of using nanomaterials. Some of the potential concerns include damage to the lungs and cells or negative impact on our immune system. The European Union is among the largest investors into nanomaterials research. The Nano Safety Cluster acts as the central coordinator for all EU-funded projects in the field of nanomaterials research. Its aim? To answer some of the most important questions relating to the safety of nanomaterials. We recently reviewed the, uh, the evidence on the titanium dioxide toxicity. Titanium dioxide is a chemical that's been used in a lot of uh, commercial products, from sunscreens to paints, even in food additives. In the past years, many new applications have been developed. There's a lot of amazing discoveries that are associated with nanoscience and nanotechnology, but my favorite one as an environmental scientist is um, the fact that using um, smaller and smaller materials, even for, for standard applications, we actually save a lot of the planet's resources. With so much ongoing research and funding, what does the future hold for the European Union's nanomaterials research? We see nanomaterials perhaps now becoming more of a part of the big picture of chemicals and perhaps in the future there will be um, funding to study them not as, as a distinct entity but as part of a larger family of chemicals. For more information, visit the EU Observatory for Nanomaterials at ewan.eca.europa.eu.